What's going on YouTube? Gabriel Wright here, represent PGA Tour, driven the movement towards improvement. Rocking the official movement towards improvement hoodie. Today's video is gonna be on freeing yourself from the judgment of others. Freeing yourself from the judgment of your parents. Freeing yourself from the judgment of your friends. We're on the first tee right now. And you know, for me, when I was younger, the first tee was a nerve wracking place for me. You know, I was afraid of being embarrassed by hitting a bad shot on the first tee whether it's in front of my parents, in front of my playing competitors, in front of just the group behind us or the guys in the pro shop, I was afraid of hitting a bad shot. And when you're more worried about hitting a bad shot on the first tee, instead of where, where the, you want the ball to go and end up, you're not giving yourself the best opportunity for success. You know, when I was growing up playing junior golf, I was afraid of playing a bad round and making a bad score. Even when I was playing a round, I would actually make up stories in my head that would justify my bad round. For example, if I was playing a bad round, I'd be like, this is fucking embarrassing, you know? And I would make up stories on what I'm gonna tell people after the round to justify it. Like, oh, I hit this six foot putt on number four and because the greens are so bad and bumpy, hit a bump and missed. Or I was swinging on number eight and the cart girl came up and distracted me. I hit it out of bounds. There's two shots right there. Or you know, I was chipping and I landed right in the front of the green and for some reason the front of the green, all the greens are, are wet and soft and the greens are just inconsistent. Like I needed to make up excuses on how good I really was because I was afraid of being embarrassed. You have to learn to free yourself from the judgment of others, uh, even the judgment of your parents. Even if your parents say, you know, Gabe, you're not giving this your all. You need to focus more or you're just not that good. I can't let them even influence me emotionally or mentally. Nobody should ever have influence over your emotional or mental well-being. Your self-identity like your self-identity can't be made up from what other people say or think of you. Movement towards improvement doesn't give a fuck about what anybody else says or thinks about me. I could go out and play a tournament tomorrow and shoot 110 and people could be saying, you know, Gabe's a fake, he's a fraud. He doesn't know how to teach people. He should teach himself before he teaches others. And personally, I won't feel any different way about myself. I won't make myself feel bad. I won't feel embarrassed. I judge myself off my effort and my intention. If I went out there, I didn't get in my own way. I wasn't afraid of hitting a bad shot. I was committed and I did the very best I could, but it was 110 then you could sure as hell make sure, no, I'll feel good, pretty good about myself. So, movement towards improvement, right? This is what it means to me. It doesn't uh, matter what anybody else thinks. And what you're really doing is you're freeing yourself from the judgment of, uh, you're freeing yourself from the judgment of yourself. Because basically, people are always gonna judge you. They're gonna judge you your whole life. And what you're doing is before you let them influence you, you would let what the other people say and think actually affect you emotionally and now they're still gonna judge you but now you're not letting it influence you because it's really our own selves who inflict ourselves with that it's not up to anybody else nobody else can make you feel a certain way unless you allow them to so it'll be like the wind it'll come you'll recognize people's judgments and you will let it go but you will self-identify with it movement towards improvement isn't uh, it doesn't worry about failing or falling on its face or being ashamed or embarrassed. Movement towards improvement says, I'm going to do the best I can fucking do, and I don't worry about the rest. I don't worry about the extra drama or the extra bullshit. You guys, this is Gabriel right here. I represent PJ Tour Driven, the movement towards improvement. Not holding back on any content I think can help you guys. Uh, anything that comes to my mind I think can help you or certain experiences I've been through, I'm going to share with you. Subscribe, I do weekly course vlogs, what's in the bags, player interviews, tips, drills, instruction. Also doing weekly golf giveaways. Giving away this waste management signed glove, G4 by Jonas Blix, who I think is like second in the Masters right now. All you gotta do is subscribe, share a video, like my Facebook page. Thanks you guys, PGA TD, MTI, signing out. Okay, here is the waste management signed glove, brand new. And that's Jonas Blix's autograph I got at the Waste Management. So he's in second place at the Masters. I hope he wins. This would be a really cool giveaway for you guys. Subscribe, share a video, and like my Facebook page. Thanks, you guys.